Joey Gates here, Crow Cool 66 is my channel, and uh, I made a Vine animation for a cartoon that I'm wanting to do. It's, um, it's a spring cartoon. There's going to be a character here in the center of this kind of ornate Vine pattern as it animates on, and uh, I wanted something that I could kind of do in an evening, something that wouldn't take a lot of time. So um, let me show you how I did this. I drew this sketch in Photoshop and um, I wanted to create a, a repeated pattern so that I can own, so I only would really need to animate a portion of this once and then I could duplicate it and scale it up. So you can see this um, this area here. We've got this, you know, vine that comes around like this, vine like that. And then we have a little one like that, and, and like three, three leaves. So as you can see, this is the the same thing that's everywhere. So we've got this one. This is flipped, mirrored. This is mirrored. Uh, comes around. This is mirrored. So it's basically the same animation that's repeated over and over and over again. So uh, that was my plan. And let me take you down to the very first one that I did. Okay, so this is the vine group. Right here we can see the animation happening right here. Let me zoom in. See it kind of growing like that. Okay, let me turn that off. So you can see that I use that as my pattern and I think it's always important to have a plan when you're doing anything. So I've got a layer for each each vine and each leaf. And you can see um, this one right down here is scaling is actually not invisible. Uh, so it's this one that's growing and does that. So that's basically what I did on those guys is uh, each one kind of connects to the other one. Now these aren't shapes in as much as they are paths. Each one of these is a path and I used the variable width, line width um, tool for that. Um, what I did was I used this, I have a drawing tablet, so to get it started I used the pen, this pencil tool to draw out my basic shapes. Then I either added points or deleted points. I adjusted my variable widths on um, on these paths. For instance, right here, you know, I can make this line thicker or thinner. You know, the width I can adjust, and that's the attribute that you can actually animate in Anime Studio which makes it really nice. So when you see this guy come down like this, it gets a little thicker and the thickness just <laughs> the thickness, the thickness comes around like that uh, because I have the variable uh, width adjusted to do that at that point in time. So since I can you can animate that, the same thing with the leaves. Leaves like this comes around and then it dips down because I'm adjusting the variable width across these keyframes. So once I have, once I had one of these guys done, uh, what I ended up doing at that point in time, I'm going to turn on my my preview. Um, you can see the shading that is on these guys. That was done by using the fill here and having a shading um, set to black. The alpha channel, the opacity is about halfway up. And um, for that, and so that's what's creating this shade. And so on each one of these, I have shaded. And on this, on the leaves, I have halo set. And the halo you don't see in the preview. Um, but it is nice here in 
in this uh, program in Anime Studio that you can see uh, the halo, I mean the the actual shading on a stroke. It's basically, you know, it's a shaded stroke. So once I had this animation done, all I did at that point in time was I'm going to turn this quality back down to medium and uh, so I can show you the other stuff without it waiting too long. So I duplicated, I put that in a group, put the vine and the leaf, everything in a group, and then I just duplicated the groups. Bum, 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 bum. So you can see that one, I mirrored that, same group, same animation, and then I just kept making groups. And what I did then is on the layers here, you know, as far as positioning of layers, that sort of thing, I, um, you know, I used, I used the layer positioning and the rotation of the layers to um, put these things where they needed to be based on my template, you know, so and I, I know exactly where I was going with it. And that's basically it, you know. Um, other than that, I've put all of them in one big group now, just so that I can, if I want to, I can apply a drop shadow to this folder, you know. And here, I can get in here and apply a drop shadow or, or something like that. And uh, it will apply to this folder, which contains all the rest. Um, makes it easier, if you, especially if you want to try different things. Anyway, that's uh, that's my animation so far. I'll probably be adding some flowers and stuff to it um, for the final cartoon. But um, hope it was helpful. Again, uh, these are variable line widths, and um, yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know.